gold He took the socks cause our baby's feet were cold He didn't know that the sins of my past would come back tenfold Life on parole How could you come as a cry? They say it one more time, they give me life was amazing, um, and it is the music of Tonality, a choir group that combines beautiful voices with real stories and issues of social justice. It's seriously one of the most unique and powerful choirs in America, and they're so gifted with all those runs. Um, here to tell us all about it is the founding artistic director of Tonality, Dr. Alexander Lloyd Blake. Give it up for him, guys. It's such a cool concept. Um, give us an overview of Tonality and what it's about. Sure, Tonality is a 24 voice choir and we really started because we didn't see a lot of representation in terms of ethnic diversity in classical music and evolved the mission to really do more than just be diverse but really talk about stories. Uh, yeah. Stories that we are hearing in the news right now which is pretty heavy, yeah. um, stories of criminal justice, immigration, mental health, LGBTQ issues but we bring our stories to the music, and as you know as an artist, to explain experiences through song brings a new emotion. Mm -hmm. And I think it brings people closer to issues that we really should be talking about. Yeah, it's a different level of depth. It's a different depth, Absolutely. I feel like. Yeah, because it's interesting. I'm listening to the lyrics. I was, obviously, I'm listening to all the runs, too, because they're incredible. <laughs> um, but also the, the lyrics, it's like you wouldn't find those lyrics generally in a song, and it's, it's so moving, and it makes you listen more. It's very well done. But what, what kinds of personal stories does the music capture? Sure, so stories of the people in the group. I mean, I'll tell you my own story about growing up in a gospel background in North Carolina, definitely having my own experiences with police and racial issues, mm. growing up as a closeted gay male in a conservative religious space. Mm. Um, but then we hear stories of the singers. The singers are so brave and vulnerable about talking about their own experiences. And so people have told stories about gun violence. We had a concert about uh, gun violence and this fell six days after the Las Vegas tragedy. And one of our singers lost a friend in that shooting. Wow. And so we started the concert with them telling that story. And so we've had stories of sexual assault, mental health, LGBTQ issues. And again, it just gives us an opportunity to really reflect the stories of America in our choir because they are in our group as well. It's an amazing thing too because when someone voices their story, it's so hard to do, but it empowers so many others to be like, okay, if they can do it, I can do it too. It's a very hard thing, um, you know, especially if you're not an extrovert, you know, naturally. So, well, we have a member of Tonality um, in our audience. Say hi to David. So David, you have a powerful story um, you express through music, right? Yes. Um, my parents are immigrants that fled the Salvadoran Civil War in the 80s. Um, and so you can imagine the traumatic experience that can be moving here, not knowing the language, you know, tr not having family members here. Um, and even for me, being an American born here in California, there are moments that people have told me, You're, you don't belong here just for being Latino. Um, so our, you know, being in this group, we have a concert on immigration and refugees, and we have a piece called American Dreamers that I get to really connect to. And that also allows for other audience members with similar experiences to have their voices heard through song, and for other audience members that maybe have not to have some sort of empathy as well. Wow, what an incredible story your family has. I can't imagine going, like you said, oh, you can imagine, I can't. I can't imagine, <laughs> right. like, all of a sudden just having to live in a country I don't know how to speak their language. That's, yeah. that, that's so hard, yeah, it's and very, to make it work. And yeah. what an amazing thing they've done for you and changed your life and given you such opportunity. Yeah. Like, way to go, parents. Yes. Just saying, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Alex, um, you, your group has received a lot of attention since the pandemic, right? Yeah. Yes, we were very fortunate um, past year. We just came out with an album called America Will Be, which that song yeah. that was presented yeah. was on. And we also were able to be featured on the score for Space Jam. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so cool. Amazing. With LeBron, that's amazing. Yeah, Chris Bowers is a composer, uh, an amazing composer who's involved in a lot of projects. But 
we were able to talk about our aligned mission, about representation yeah. and possibility. And so he thought it was great to bring us all on, you know, to show that and just another opportunity of what it looks like to be seen and validated for all of who you are. Yeah, and it's so important in all these different, you know, industries and tech and music and arts, everything. And I think it's it's really cool what you all are doing. And even though it's in a different field, it's still the same thing, like you were saying. Um, well, we reached out to um, the Guitar Center Music Foundation, who loves the work that you're doing to unite people with music, and they want to help you continue. So they're donating $5,000 to Tonality. Oh, wow. 